Hey guys, welcome back. As you can already tell, this video is going to be my March favorites. I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely tired right now. I'm in that place where I'm like about to get my period and I'm just so tired my body doesn't even know what energy is. I feel like a blob and like I'm moving like molasses. It literally took me two hours to do this basic ass makeup look. I didn't even feel like I was like doing stuff slowly but like I finished my makeup, I looked at the clock and two hours had passed. I was like, well what the hell? So yeah, that's where I'm at so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit low energy and like a little bit more calm in today's video. Normally I would wait to film but actually the the other day I woke up and part of the keyboard on my MacBook wasn't working and I actually have to like take my MacBook into Apple and have it repaired so I'm going to be without my computer for three to five days which is like my worst nightmare. It's like my baby like I do all my work on my computer it's pretty much like my sole source of entertainment but yeah that's why I'm filming I will have other videos up while I don't have my computer though. But anyways, my first favorite of the month was definitely my mom's new puppy, Willow. In case you haven't seen on social media or you missed the vlog that I did, my mom got a Whippet puppy this month. She is so cute. She's a little blue brindle Whippet and she's just teeny, teeny, tiny. I'll we'll insert some pictures of her here on the screen. She's just the cutest thing ever and she's so snuggly and sweet and just hilarious. But I'll link the vlog down below in case you missed it. I also did just want to quickly clear up that yes, she is my mom's dog because I think like the vibe I got from the the comments on the vlog were that a lot of people thought she was mine and James's even though I thought I made it pretty clear in the video that she was my mom's. So yeah I just wanted to clear that up because I don't want people in like a month from now being like what happened to your new puppy like why are you not showing her as much. And my second favorite recently has actually been Instagram. I used to be obsessed with Instagram back in the day like I was really really into it before I got into my YouTube channel and then that kind of took over most of my like social media time. But I just absolutely love taking pictures and like editing pictures and sharing them with people so this month I've been posting on Instagram more. I'm still not like posting every day or anything but I've really been enjoying posting again. I do post mostly beauty photos on my Instagram as well. Like it's not so much a personal Instagram, like it is my only Instagram account but it is beauty focused. I actually have been using Instagram stories a lot too which I was kind of super against in the beginning. Don't get me wrong, I still love Snapchat more but I have been using Insta stories and I do really enjoy it. There's features that I like like the boomerang and like the geotagging and stuff. I think you can make like really cool pictures and videos on Insta Stories. So if you aren't following me there, definitely go check out my profile. I'm at Sari Rihanna there, just like everything else. I love social media because I feel like I really get to connect with you guys and get to know you guys more on social media. Like I love chatting with you guys. And yeah, just getting to know you guys because obviously you guys know me, but I don't really know all of you. So I like getting to put like a face to the comments and everything like that. Actually, what I'm gonna do while I don't have a computer, if you go follow me on Instagram and comment on my most recent picture that you came from my March favorites video, I will like a ton of your pictures and just just like spam you back but your profile does have to be public that's really important if you have a private account I can't do it but yeah go do that and I will stock your account my 100k giveaway is hopefully coming up pretty soon too and I will be doing like extra bonus entries and things like that for people who are following me on social media so yeah go check it out this video is already so rambly let's go ahead and jump into the beauty favorites my first favorite is a fragrance it has been a really long time since I have fallen in love with a perfume Specifically, it has actually been a year and six months. The only reason I know that is because I bought myself my Givenchy Dahlia Devin for my 21st birthday and that's like the last new fragrance that I was like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. And the fragrance that I've just fallen madly in love with this month is the limited edition Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium Floral Shock. So it looks really similar to the original Black Opium, but the bottle is like this gunmetal gray to like a pink glitter gradient. It's so pretty. I'm not a huge fan of the original Black Opium. Like, I like it, but it's not a fragrance that I would purchase and like wear all the time but this one oh my gosh it was like love at first whiff it smells so good I'm seriously hoping that they keep this as a permanent fragrance honestly there's nothing like crazy unique about it to me like I smell it and I'm like yeah that definitely reminds me of other things I've smelled over the years but something about this I just love it's kind of like a sweet fruity floral I did look at the notes the other day and it was pear orange blossom vanilla and iced coffee and then I think there was like gardenia or geranium or something like that in there. There was one other floral note. Yeah, sweet fruity floral. If you like really smell, you can smell the coffee too, which does make it a little bit more unique, but I don't know. There's just something about this. I like spray it on before I go to bed so I can like smell it first thing when I wake up. I'm just obsessed with it. And I think definitely a good one leading into spring and summer, so I'll link it down below, but next time you're in Sephora or department store, definitely just go give this a whiff and see what you think. My next favorite is actually what I'm wearing on my lips currently, and this is the Clinique and Crayola 
Crayola Movilis Chubby Stick. I feel like the shade is permanent, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have it in the description bar though. As you can tell, it's not really a mauve shade at all on me. It's kind of like a My Lips but Better color, but just like a touch more vibrant. I think it's really pretty. If you've never tried the Chubby Sticks, they're like a sheer tinted bomb essentially. They're just like a little chubby crayon and they just give a nice sheer wash of color. I could definitely build it up a little bit more than this, but what I'll usually do is I'll apply it and then I'll just blot off, like I'll kiss the back of my hand once or twice to blot off the excess and this is kind of the finished result. I think it's just really fresh and pretty for spring. I'm loving sheer, slightly glossy, just kind of natural lip colors. I know everyone is still obsessed with their matte liquid lipsticks and everything, but I've just always been kind of a sucker for these kind of formulas and these kind of looks on the lips. <laughs> looks really pretty with a super natural face, but then I think it also looks nice with like this simple like full coverage, like winged liner kind of look. It's just kind of like flirty and fresh for spring. And I do have another new lipstick favorite as well. If you saw my spring makeup routine that I did recently, you would have seen me wear this, and I have just been wearing it in a ton of recent videos. This is from Milk Makeup, and it's just called the lip color and the shade is cream or c-r-e-a-m this is just like a little kind of like twist up it's kind of like a product in between a regular lipstick and like a crayon it still like looks like a little lipstick bullet but it is just the most perfect nude shade if you have a similar skin tone to me and you love nudes and you need this in your life and this is the little mini size by the way i'm definitely contemplating getting a full size eventually though i kind of wish i'd already bought the full size it's just perfect and i love the formula it's a nice creamy hydrating long wearing matte you guys know how i feel about my pinky nudes but this color is just perfect and oddly enough this one is actually described as a nude mauve on the sephora website too but once again it's not mauve at all i actually do have quite a few products in this video that were in that spring makeup routine which just makes sense i think i mean that was like my everyday makeup routine so obviously i've really been enjoying these products. But the next one is this Estee Lauder The Mattifier Shine Control Perfecting Primer. As I mentioned in my makeup routine video, this is probably just the best mattifying primer I have tried, honestly. It's got a really nice texture. It's not too sticky or anything, but it does leave a slight kind of tackiness on the skin. Once again, this product does not completely keep me from like producing oil or anything like that. I don't think anything ever will, but this really helps just keep my makeup intact and keep it looking fresh and keep me from looking super greasy throughout the day. Which as someone who has super oily skin, but it doesn't actually like a matte finish this is pretty much exactly what I want in a primer this piece of hair is bugging me so much it just keeps like straying away stay over there next product is this little guy this is the new Tarte don't quit your daydream palette first of all love the packaging love the name and like the messaging behind it and everything I believe this guy is an Ulta and Tarte.com exclusive so I'll link it down below with everything else this has literally just been the perfect everyday palette for me you get seven eyeshadows and then a face highlight the highlight is actually beautiful as well I've used it quite a bit and it's so pretty and so glowy and then just a really nice selection of neutral shadows you got like a warmer kind of like burnt terracotta orange there's also just a classic gold there's more of like that peachy rose gold kind of color that I love you've got some nice blending shades it's just once again the perfect everyday palette if you're into this color selection the quality is also great so I'd really recommend checking it out I did not use it today I'm literally just wearing like a matte shadow in my crease today but I have been wearing this pretty much every day this month next up I do have a couple skincare favorites and then like a body care favorite as well but I want to talk about the Garnier skin active makeup removing micellar wipes I did haul these I did a video with Garnier this month which was really exciting and I showed these at at the time I did that haul, I mean, it was a haul, so I'd only tried out like one or two of them. And I did initially really like them, but since then, these have solidified themselves as my absolute top favorite drugstore makeup wipes I have ever tried. My favorite before this was the Simple Wipes, but these beat those, honestly. I've used up a good amount of these because I like just using them to kind of freshen up my face. They literally do just feel like a makeup wipe that's been soaked in micellar water, so they're a little bit more convenient, especially when I was at the cabin and everything for traveling. I have actually tried the Bioderma micellar wipes in the past but I just wasn't a huge fan of them these are so perfect though they're so soft they're completely fragrance free they remove everything and they actually leave your skin feeling clean I find most makeup wipes leave a residue on your skin and these don't at all so I will definitely be repurchasing these over and over and over again I already know next I've got a skincare product for brightening and for like fading acne scars and everything like that I did mention these in the vlog once again and I think I showed them on snapchat too when I got them because these were sent to me by Clinique but this is the new Clinique fresh press seven day system with pure vitamin C. So it's like a vitamin C treatment meant to brighten, fade scarring, fade brown spots, things like that. You guys know I'm a big, big fan of vitamin C. I've seen great results fading all my hyperpigmentation using vitamin C products. So when I was sent these, I was really intrigued because vitamin C is an active ingredient. So it's a little bit tricky. It breaks down really easily. Like the light affects it, what it's packaged in affects it. If it's in like a serum with other ingredients and everything, the other ingredients will affect it and like break it down over time. So it's really cool with this is it's just a 
one week treatment and this one is a brand new one I have used up like a full other pack but basically in here you get seven of these little packets so in here is actually a vitamin C powder and it's actually a water activated cleanser so you mix it in a paste in the palm of your hand and cleanse your face with it I just use this at nighttime and then you also get a little bottle of a serum and the serum has a foil piece on here basically when you go to use it you peel that off and then there's like a button that you press and it presses the vitamin C powder into the serum so it keeps everything separate and it keeps it active and as potent as possible I think this is a really cool product it's like a really unique delivery system but then with this you just add two drops to your moisturizer or your serum or whatever you want to do and I did use this one morning and night so I used up a full box of this I used it the entire week that I was in the mountains and I definitely saw some fantastic results the main thing I noticed I have an acne scar on my forehead here I rarely ever break out on my forehead so it's like a very isolated red mark and within the week that I used this I noticed it faded significantly and it definitely did fade like the other areas of my face too like on my cheeks but that one I really noticed because it just stands out so much more I really really enjoyed this I would definitely recommend it to any of you guys who are just looking to perk up your complexion or fade any kind of scarring anything like that Clinique sent me three of these and one I gave to my mom so she could try it too and she absolutely loved it but now I'm kind of like damn I wish I'd kept that I can definitely see myself repurchasing this in the future I kind of want to use it like all the time even though it's only like a one week treatment <laughs> and finally I have a body wash in my recent empties video I mentioned that my skin was just like super rashy and irritated I was using coincidentally two different strawberry body washes and I think something with my skin wasn't liking the strawberry or whatever I basically I don't know if it's like contact dermatitis or what because I do also get eczema but I had this bumpy rash basically all over my lower back and kind of like up around my sides and I do get it all the time but it was just like really really persistent so I was like okay I need to clearly switch something up so I went for this Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash this is the Gentle Scent Coconut version Aveeno never steers me wrong honestly their products always work really well for me when my skin is irritated and this has been no exception first of all the scent is like really really light but it's not completely unscented which I like because I find unscented body washes just too bland I like a little something in there mm, yeah I really like the scent of it and it lathers really nice too which I really like I also don't like super mild body washes that don't lather at all because I like having that nice big foamy lather that gets me feeling super clean but after switching to this that kind of rash outbreak on my skin cleared up really quickly so I think I'm gonna stick with this for a while and just continue to repurchase it while my skin kind of calms down <laughs> that is it those were all of my favorites for the month of March I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I know it was quite rambly like I said I'm just in a weird tired kind of mood but once again don't forget to go follow me on Instagram once again if you have a public profile and you follow me and you comment on my most recent picture saying you came from this video I will spam you with likes and leave you some love on your Instagram as well so definitely go do that and don't forget to check the description bar of this video as well because I mentioned a million and one different videos and things that I'm going to link so I will make sure those are all down there so you guys can find them easily along with all of the products I mentioned I mentioned just like always <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to go follow me everywhere on social media. I'm at Sari Rihanna on Snapchat and Twitter. I don't know what I almost just said. I'm at Sari Rihanna on Snapchat and Twitter as well. And if you are new here, I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button. But I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.